Hey guys, so if you are a 4C natural and you're interested in learning some tips about how to achieve better wash and goes, definitely stay tuned for this video. You. <laughs> for the exact same reasons why we come in so many shades of brown, is the reasons why our typing is necessary. You know how go though. Yeah. You. Yeah. You. They told me you had to. So um, a 4C wash and go is not going to look like a 3A or 4A or whatever. It's going to be its own unique wash and go. Um, so if you are not comfortable with um, your curl pattern um, because 4C hair is going to have much smaller coils. Of course, you're going to get a lot of shrinkage, okay? Our hair does not really elongate that much from a wash and go as some textures, you know, may elongate a little bit more. Um, and also, um, like I said, our coils are going to be much smaller. My 4C girls, are you ready to go step by step through this wash and go? Okay, so one of the very first things you want to make sure that you do, um, taking away the idea that your hair is going to look like um, some of the other textures. So just erase all of that from your mind um, and be more open to what your hair and your curl pattern is going to look like. Um, and you know and i think that you know a lot of people probably have already tried these wash and goes and when they have achieved their natural curl pattern they are disappointed um because it's not the you know the thick bouncy fluffy curls that you see in some of the other textures so i think that you know that disappointment and maybe you know the way they style the hair or whatever um just you know led to us really not being more accepting of a 4c wash and go especially because our hair shrinks the most um uh, forget whatever you saw on any other video or any other channel with a girl hair that may not be like yours and try to be open-minded to what your hair can actually achieve. You want to start on freshly washed hair. Just to get what they need, I'm not amused by the antics of those who's possessed by grease. Skip me. I can tell that you're bullshit. You don't want to, you know, have had products in your hair from the week and then on Saturday you decide that hey, I want to do a wash and go. I'm just going to rinse out my hair and I'm going to slap some gel in it and some conditioner or whatever and I'm going to go. Unless you want um, to be white residue, flaky mess, then go ahead. <laughs> so after your hair is nice and washed and cleansed properly, then you want to go in and condition your hair. So it'll be pretty much like a normal wash day. Okay, so at this point, you have washed your hair, you have conditioned it, and you're at a point now where your hair is very hydrated, you're starting to get your moisture levels up, sure that all of your conditioner is rinsed out of your hair. You should not have any conditioner in your hair. Then as the mic gets ripped, so what now? Am I supposed to just play the game? Play the game. This is due to actual respect just to make a name. Make a name. You might not know me, but the so at this point, um, you know, when you're going to do the oil rinse, I take hot oil and while I'm in the shower, I pour it, you know, down my hair, and then I take the shower and let it go from like hot, you know, slowly building up to a cold rinse. And what the oil rinse is going to help with is helping um, define your curls as well as giving you a little more slippage for the hair. Um, see your curl definition a little bit better. Some hair textures really don't need that oil rinse. In my opinion, I think 4Cs, we need to do it because it also helps 
lock in a little bit extra moisture in your hair. Some of your products that you might use may not play nicely with your oils, in particular olive oil. And that was one reason why I was a little uh, discouraged about this wash and go, just a little bit because the Eco Style Gel has olive oil in it. And I already applied the coconut oil to my hands. Uh, you can see it has started to absorb and now what I want to do is get in the hot shower. Then um, I'll get under the shower, rinse it out with hot water as I can stand it in my hair. Um, and then I'm going to rinse it with cool water to close up the cuticle stuff. You check, check, they say, they say, you, yo, they say, whoa, you, you know what I'm saying, they say, whoa. Next thing that you're going to want to do after you've done your oil rinse, you're going to want to pick one styling product resist the urge if you are a product junkie resist the urge to try you know your kinky curly not today and your shea moisture you know whatever type of custard they have and your curl brulee and you know all these other different onion and all this kind of stuff resist the urge to do that you want to find out what's going to work for your hair um and if you are applying all these different products because this one works this way and this one works that way you're going to end up with a hot mess it's going to be a hot mess um so stick with one product and then if you want to add a second product maybe this the next time you go do your wash and goes just so you can see if they do play well together or whatever then you'll know that hey when i did um my hair with the gel um with that one product, it was this way, and then when I added the second product to it, it messed it up or it made it better. So, you know, start off easy. Just start off really easy with it. Don't, don't, don't. It's not, I don't believe it's gonna take that much for your curls to actually, you know, come. So So after you're going to apply that one particular gel, whether you're going to go back into the shower or to your sink and you're going to rinse your hair again, uh, because you will have applied a lot of product to your hair, um, rinsing it, you know, a little bit more with more water, is not going to take away that much of the product. Okay. Um, so you're going to rinse it and then you're going to shake your head and you know, that's going to give you some curls. But yeah. So keep in mind, you're going to have something specific to your hair. If I could make a buck off this music, but my personality said good luck. I'm not a salesman, I don't care if you don't like me. I'm not gonna dance just so y'all can invite me to do these shows, collab, oh, just to get exposed and deal with the media, a whole different animal. And I'm a predicament, I put myself in on one hand, I make music so y'all can. You just have to be really, really open to what your hair is gonna do as a 4C, okay? We as 4C naturals, we have to start embracing our hair and we have to start showcasing it. Um, because if we don't say, hey, I look good, I, you know, I can rock my hair this way, I know I see the beauty within myself, whether I have my hair straight, whether I have my hair relaxed or whatever, um, or in a tight fro or, in my you know my wash and go or whatever you know I do think you know styling does play a big huge part in you know how you feel about yourself because some, so some days when I had my hair flat ironed um, you know when I was relaxed and I flat ironed my hair there was sometimes I didn't really care how my hair looked flat ironed I was like oh I could have did my hair better you know that day or whatever something like that so there's always um, 
the time where you feel like your hair is dope <laughs> and you know nobody can tell you nothing what I hope that you guys have, have learned, you know, some tips uh, on how to rock your 4C wash and go.